Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome. To RNN chat or talk or talk. 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 About Bethesda and Skyrim and Fallout 4. I guess just Bethesda in general. Bethesda in general. Past. I guess Bethesda and Skyrim and Bethesda and Fallout 4. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, from like a Skyrim on. I don't know. I Fallout guess. 4. Fallout 3. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They made that? Yeah, they made that, right? Of course. Okay. It's open checking. world. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, we were just talking uh, in between an episode. Uh, and we, we brought were, up the topic of Skyrim, got brought like, up. Yeah. Um, and how amazing it is. Well, we'll uh, uh, I guess we'll start with Skyrim, right? Yeah. yeah. That'll be our first area. Of, uh, we just kind of agreed that Skyrim is terrible. Yes. Skyrim's not, like, actually well, and good. In terms of? In terms of combat and story and narrative and, like, writing and... Music is fine, actually. Yeah. In visuals, it looks really bad. Uh, Especially without, in the, without in the like, PS3 yeah, version. Yeah, if, if you put the PS3 footage up right now, then it'll look. Then they'll get to see how bad see it looks. See how wonderful. But it even looks. without mods, I mean, it doesn't look great. No. Like on PC, it doesn't look great. I mean, it looks good probably, but I mean. Well, then once you add the mods, it looks but better. But for 2011, after like, you know, thousands of games have come out and look way better than that. Like before that. I don't even. No. Yeah, well, probably. Anyway. Which game? What? Which game? Like, uh, what year did uh, Bioshock 2 if, come out? Oh, I don't know. 2009? Yeah, that looked better than Skyrim. That looked way better than Skyrim. Yeah. Most games look way better than Skyrim. But yeah, we were talking about the three DLCs, which are... Um, Dra- Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard. Hearthfire and Dragon War. Right, yeah. And how Hearthfire is actually the best DLC, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree... Or disagree on this but uh, it's just because like the only good part of Skyrim is that it's immersive like that game objectively is not very good yeah. like it for an open for like it's open world abilities is really really solid it's just <clears throat> it's it's super overrated and like yeah, especially now that people are still oh, yeah, making yeah. videos that like people as if the game still, as the game came out yeah exactly people, people are like are, oh here's here's skyrimming it's like what, are you? what was that one that came out really recently that was like all over youtube for whatever reason oh there's the it was cat. like the toughest enemy in skyrim or something yeah, like that it was the like the hardest like, enemy it was like suddenly recommended for me and you yeah and i was like oh this must have been made like two years ago it was three no, weeks it, ago it, yeah not even probably like two weeks ago. Yeah, I don't know, it's just promoted because they paid for promotion or whatever, but it was still a super weird, like, why would you make that? It's super yeah, out of there. Yeah, it's, like, I mean, if you made the game, if you made that when a game came out, sure. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's like, now it's like, people don't care. Yeah, it's, so uh, the PS3, <laughs> uh, the thing about the PS3 version is that it's purposefully made to run poorly. Is that every Bethesda game? Uh, that's pretty much every Bethesda game, but I think it, it's more noticeable in Skyrim. Yeah. It's most noticeable in Skyrim. Fallout 3 doesn't do terrible, but not as good as it does for Xbox 360. And then 360 not as good. It's, le- it's better than PS... and uh, better than PC. It pretty much runs better on, like, best... Like, all their games. Like, even Skyrim on a PC. Like, a low... Like, a mid-end PC doesn't run as good as it does on Xbox 360. No. It's like they're... They're so obviously paid by Microsoft to make their version better. Not even to make their version yeah, better. Yeah, but would but you to buy make... three, the 360 just to play Skyrim? Oh, people already had Skyrim. I mean, people already had a 360. Yeah, but I'm like thinking it's like if they paid to make the PS3 version bad. I think they did. But it's like, what's. Like... I mean, I don't think they directly said that, but I think yeah. that was clearly the implication was yeah. like, how can we make it. Wor- how can we make the Xbox 360 suddenly better? The only way is you to make, it, to make the, the other two versions worse. Like, and you still need mods to really make Skyrim good. Yeah. But it was just, just the general point is that it's like, it was super, like, super overrated in everything except for immersiveness. But like, uh, we were talking. Yeah, because like, when you when you when you ask someone about like what do they love about Skyrim, they don't talk about anything but the environment no, yeah. being immersed in it. Oh, the combat's that, awful. That's the only, the only thing they never even people. There's not even a story to it. Keep hitting R one or whatever the the button. Whatever is the action hit, button is. Whatever the hit button is, a bunch of times. It doesn't matter if you use the shield or not. Whatever. Yeah. Just step back and forth. Or if you have a, a spell, just hold it down until you run out of magic. Oh, yeah. All spell is just super like overpowered. Oh, they are too overpowered that it's criminal. There's like uh, the combat's not good. I mean, it's not unfun because it's super easy and simple. Yeah. I mean, if they wanted to make it good, 
and the writing is like the most boring like like in the quests they're not that good well I just hate how they reuse voice actors oh yeah there's everyone. like a dozen it feels like there's a dozen voice actors it it don't. It feels like there's five. It's really like it's really like noticeable. Like, like two, of, it's like the same guy plays, like in White Run, of one of three guys voices every guy. And the other thing about the dialogue is that like people will like they'll have different voice actors, but they'll all say the same thing. Oh, like uh. Like all shopkeeps will say like the same. What do you need? Or yeah, the same. Not even that, but it's trip, like, like the, the same. What they call five it junk. Sets. Yeah, yeah. But, and Me, so it's I call like, it treasure or something. I know it's like difficult to write like, like five things. extra lines of dialogue for like I'm se- if you're selling I'm buying or something like that or whatever it is. If you're buying I'm selling or something. Just say like five more <laughs> lines of dialogue to add a little diversity in there. Yeah. It's just so like there's so it's probably the most flawed game to be rated as the best game. Well, but, then it did win It won the game of the years. Whatever yeah, well, that means. Yeah. <laughs> like it's. I mean. Uh, I, I mean. I, well, it depends on who whose game of the year it won. It Could probably won Kotaku's or IGN. I, I, I probably won a bunch of people's game of the years. I mean, I, I can. It's very immersive, but it's super lucky. Yeah. Like if that game were slightly less immersive, then you would see how flawed it is. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think like the Thieves Guild quest line is probably, in my opinion, the most fun, because the stealth is super. Not not good, but it's super easy. Yeah, it's super powerful. And like everything about the game, like, is just not great. It's not like a ten on ten game. No, like in reality, like everyone, like everyone rated it. Yeah, it's seriously like I wouldn't say it's like the writing is just nothing impressive, and the gameplay is nothing impressive. There's nothing. There's no like, oh, this is it. This is the moment. This is you where know? the payoff is. Yeah, and so we kind of transition from that. Into to Fallout 4, 4 because I'm sure it's purposefully going to be bad for the PS4. Probably. I yeah. think I think it will purposefully like <clears throat> it'll run best on Xbox. Yeah. Then PC. Yeah. Then PS4. Then no. Then we U. Then, then Wii PS4. U, then GameCube. The then Game the PSP. Cube. Then the, the PS4. Then the 2DS. Not the, the 3DS. Vita. Just the 2DS. Then the Vita. And then a, a Pringles box. Exactly. And then the PS3 and then the PS4. Yeah. Then the DS. Then the Advance. And then, then the, the Color. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I mean, it's just like it's purposefully going to be bad. It's not going to be any fun. Like, because, like, it could easily be as good as the Xbox version. Because the PS4 and the Xbox are basically on the same level. Mm-hmm. And then the PC version could be, like, way above them. Yeah. But they're not going to do that. Well, Fallout 4 is going to. Because. They che- they completely did a dialogue overhaul where it does like the the different yeah, camera the angles. Oh and, yeah, that looks like ter- that looks terrible. And then it's like, it's, c- c- well, first off, it doesn't even belong there. No, it doesn't. It really, like, it looks like I, you probably didn't play New Vegas where it was like you didn't play New Vegas, did you? I did. Oh, and you played New Vegas, but not three. No, did you play? Okay, I played the, I played a little bit of three. I didn't. Okay, yeah. Go up too far. The main difference between New Vegas and three is that the writing is good. Yeah, yeah, I didn't play too much of three. Yeah, well, the the thing about New Vegas is just like <clears throat> the writing is actually compelling, and it's so much more fun to play than Skyrim. Yeah, but people always say that no, New the, Vegas like, three is like the best Fallout. People say three is like the best game ever made. People say Half Life Two is the best game ever made. <laughs> well, like the thing about Fallout Three is that it's so linear. Like it's the most linear. Uh, it's think about New Vegas. Okay. Think about how many like different paths there are to completing a quest. Yeah. Like, there's so many different routes you can go to complete a quest. Mm-hmm. There's only one way to complete a quest in, in 3. Okay. It's just, like, there's an image, um, and maybe I'll send it to you or something like that so that I can, you can put it up here. But okay. it's, like, it's, like, a quest, it's, like, a quest points. So it's, like, for, for, uh, Fallout 3, it's, like, A, B, C, D, complete. Mm-hmm. It's, like, A starts it, D completes it, B, C in the middle. Yeah. In this, there's, like, A, B, C1, C2, C3, C or D1, D2, D2, complete, then like E1, complete, and then another complete. Yeah. Like there's a bajillion ways to do that. And then in the, <clears> like, <throat> that's the thing about them, that, about Bethesda, is that I don't think they actually know how to make open world games. They can make, they can design them, 
and they can create them with their engine. Well, obs- what was Obsidian's affiliation with New Vegas? Obsidian was contracted to make New Vegas, and they made it in about a year. Did they have any involvement with 3? No, they had no involvement with whatsoever in 3 or Skyrim. Did Bethesda just fund but Obsidian to make New Vegas? Pretty much, yeah. Bethesda, the publisher, which yeah. is different from Bethesda, the developer. Yeah. That's how it worked. Bethesda, a Xenomax company. Yeah. So that was in 2010 they made that. Mm-hmm. Like, what development was like from two thousand mid-2008 to mid-2009, yeah. maybe, or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But, like, they were working on Skyrim at the time. Yeah. But, like, that game feels really good. And then Fallout 4, just the voice dialogue stuff. Like, yeah. for a main protagonist. Because in Fallout New Vegas, and in Fallout 3, too, you just say stupid stuff. Like, everything you say is, like, the most, like... that has been a while. The most, like, dumb, like... <laughs> like, the, like the, just awful, like, the most ridiculous things ever that they're not going to translate into the game. Yeah. Like, did you, like, see all, like, the dialogue wheel for the first time? Oh, it was like in, the most in, in the demo. Four? Yeah, yeah. As and I, it looked like the most generic. How all the other RPGs are doing that? Yeah, like it looked like Mass Effect. It did. And Mass Effect's voice protagonist isn't that bad, but this, like, why? Because the thing about like is, is that now it's going to be a super linear narrative. Like the oh, narrative wait. is going to be the most. Well, like, now that it has like a strict. The thing is, is that like the whole description is like you're one of the vault survivors and your wife, and it's like, what if you play as a female? Your Does husband. It, does, does it's it, your husband, yeah. Does it switch? But it's still like, this is your backstory. Deal with it. As opposed to New Vegas, which was pretty much... How, your career? Your your career. There's your backstory, and you delivered something in a DLC. I, yeah. And that's pretty much all there is to your backstory. But this one, they just forced this backstory down your throat. How your motivations are not your own. How you know? you're a... You're a family man. Yeah, and favor how it of feels because like, because like, in the other games it's like I'm this or like you're the courier. It's whatever so it's you like, want it to be. Whatever you want it to be, but then it's like in four it's gonna be like I'm a family man. What would a family yeah, man do? And it's exactly. Like, or it's like you change, but it's like no. We want to make this game that gives you the option of doing whatever you want. Yeah. Go away, because now you can't do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You are this. This is specifically you. <clears throat> it's like, ugh, yeah, uh, yeah. it's super. It's 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 not where the series should go, and it's like, does Bethesda actually know how to make an open world RPG? Like, do they uh, really get it? Because I mean, I think they've just really been lucky. Because like, uh, Morrowind, okay, Morrowind was way too long ago. Yeah, the people who made Morrowind are mostly not there. I yeah. would gamble. I, don't, I can't fact check that. I'm just making a gamble. But mm-hmm. still, that was a really long time ago. And I think Oblivion was fine. Oblivion's what set Bethesda on, this, on the pedestal. Yeah. I think more Fallout 3 did that, really. Well, this thing, uh, didn't Oblivion come up before? Mm, yeah, I think Oblivion came up before That's, that. That but got like, perfect 100s. Yeah, no, it totally did. But I don't think it necessarily I guess it set, up, it set up the Elder Scrolls on the pedestal. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And which, just, which meant, like, oh, Skyrim's coming out. That one's going to be just as good as mm-hmm. Oblivion because, you know, same people. Yeah. That's what people always assume. Yeah, but Oblivion was fine. I think it was pretty good. Yeah. Like, at the time, I think it was better than it is now. But now it kind of just feels like, if you compare, if you were a it person that... had a better story. If I ever asked a person <laughs> who played Morrowind, they're like, yeah. yeah, Oblivion's not very, it's not that good. Because, like, Oblivion is, like, so the opposite of Morrowind. And that, like, here's a crazy, like, land, and then... In, and and oblivion, oblivion's it's like here's here's Europe. Yeah. Here's yeah. Here's like a here's a medieval mid- Europe. Yeah, medieval architecture with some there's no dragons, guys. there's no there's no like uh, imperial China. There's an yeah. implication of like imperial China in like previous texts. It's just there. It's just average. It's, yeah. It's generic, which is fine. And then like Fallout 3 came out and everyone was like, these guys know how to make it. They know how to do everything. They're amazing, amazing games. But it wasn't that good. Especially if you played New Vegas before that. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't speak for Fallout 3 in any way. Yeah, but uh, it's just like... I, mean, I just know you're doing the vault and you gotta go find your dad. Yeah. It's like, that's already too much story. <laughs> the story... Too much, too much of a story for an RPG. Yeah, exactly. Because you're a role-playing game and you're supposed to role-play as what you want to be. Exactly. That's It's just like... That's no fun when they force their the, cinematic their, their story on you. I can, you know, I can play any dang old game and get a cinematic experience. Dang old game. I can play any game and I get a cinematic experience. 
I don't want that for my Bethesda video game. Like, I mean, do you really? Like, does anyone? What, want a cinematic experience yeah. from Bethesda? That's what they're going for in 4, definitely. Yeah. And I feel like that's what they're going for in 3. And then when they didn't go for that, I don't... It was less so in Skyrim. But Skyrim was just like, what story? I'm sorry, dragons are back. And you gotta care. Dragons weren't in the last game, now they are. Now they are. Play it. Also, they're not fun to fight. They really aren't. They're really boring, and there's like a bajillion you dragons. You smack their face until they die. There's like a bajillion dragons. Well, they just keep respawning. Exactly, yeah. Oh, and the worst part is is when they just kill essential NPCs. Oh, yeah. Not essential, but like any NPC, basically. And it's like, great, you just ruined someone I needed the quest. And it's like, but the other thing is that like, in in uh, New Vegas, you can kill everyone. Yeah. It's And you know what? There's no random encounters that often that are going to kill anybody. So it's like they had to do that for 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 Skyrim instead of just making the dragon stationary. Like there's no reason for dragons to attack. No. Cuz I dragons, mean it, though. it's not really a crisis. You know? No, cuz they're never really attacking. They only attack you whenever they feel like Yeah, they're... and it doesn't feel like they're damaging the city anyway. It doesn't feel like they're damaging anyone but you. Exactly. So it should just be like Every, no one should care that dragons are happening. I, I know I kind of go off the trail, but... Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, dragon Age Inquisition, those dragon fights were awesome. Because there's only like seven in existence. Yeah, there's like, a, there's like and, seven dragons. And they're like in cool arenas. And yeah. they destroy the environments. With, like, when you first encounter the one in like the the like the like hinterlands, it yeah. flies by and destroys a mountain. And it's like, whoa, how big is this yeah. thing? And the whole fight is just... You have this whole struggle to kill this thing. Yeah, exactly. And when you finally do it... It's like, yeah, I killed this thing. Mm -hmm. It feels like nothing in Skyrim. Like, yeah, there should never... Well, they like, just feel like another enemy. Yeah, it doesn't feel cool. But, I mean, and it's like they in just, general, it's just... There's only like, two cool dragons in the Dongar DLC. That's because they come from a lake. Yeah. And they go in and out of the lake. That's like the like, cool yeah, dragon. Yeah, dragons should have been a little bit more unique than boring. A little more... And then just... There's only, like, three types. And that's it. Yeah. There's only... There's ones that shoot fire, <laughs> ones that shoot ice. Those, And then there's ones that shoot... The legendary ones shoot some purple thing that decreases yeah. your stats altogether. Yeah, whatever. But that's it. It's not. It's just not cool. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I guess to hop back on, we should hop back on to Fallout Four. Fallout Four. It looks bad. Like I get that it's in development. Yeah. But it's not actually because so they've made statements that it's basically done. That's what they. That's uh, one of the things they've said is that Fallout Four is basically done. They're just outsourcing they're just testing. some people. They're just testing it right now. But it looks bad, doesn't it? Don't you think it looks I, not it good? It looks gleamier. It looks so shiny and, and perfect. Nothing. Too. It looks too, like, uh, much like a future, not an apocalypse. Yeah, it looks so, like, calm and, like... Nothing so looks mean. like a, a, the apocalypse. The blues are way too strong. Like, the people have always complained about colors and stuff yeah. in Fallout, but, like... This is why they shouldn't do colors, because I don't think they know how. They don't know how to make colors blend in with an apocalypse. No, I don't think they really understand how to do it, because it doesn't look like it doesn't look like an apocalypse. Shots either look like, either look like a uh, the desert. Yeah, or just or, a, or or, sheet metal on top of sheet metal. Yeah, nothing like, looks like an apocalypse. Yeah, it doesn't. It, doesn't it, it just looks like abandoned. And it's not like you're heading like the shots have shown you like in a very progressed area. Like you know, New Vegas or something. You're just out in the wilderness. Yeah. And it looks like, you know, nothing happened. Yeah, pretty much. Looks like the the apocalypse kind of hit you a little bit. Yeah. And the sky's super blue. Wasn't that bad of an apocalypse? It was only a minor one. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but I every I'm sure it'll play it a lot. But I'll always know the disappointment. Disappointments are there. <laughs> like I'd always be like, yeah, this is good. But if a sit obsidian made it, it'd be perfect. Would they have? Would they have the dumb speech bubbles? Oh, and have man. characters say your name if your name's one of the good ones. Sucks if your name's like uh, Hamid or something like that. Or can... uh, or any non basic American name. Yeah, any non English name, or you get like a foreign copy of the game. Oh like, yeah. That's the thing. Like you're just gonna have subtitles. Yeah. Like if you're if you're played in like if you're like a I don't know where is a really popular video I don't know maybe played South in South Korea South Korea yeah if people like video games in South Korea well too bad you're gonna have to just deal with captions because they're not gonna get someone to record that amount of dialogue 
Yeah. For Fallout, they recorded a ton of dialogue, and you know what? That dialogue is still not going to be as much as the dialogue you could say in New Vegas or even three. Like the options to say things, like the amount of lines for you yeah. to say, is not going to be as much as they say. Yeah. It's super. Like it's not. You know, it's not what I th- not what, what I could hope. But all those people who lined up at the Bethesda E3 conference waiting for the Fallout 4 announcement. Oh, yeah. Because they love Fallout 3 so much. New Vegas never happened to them. Yeah, seriously. like Because it wasn't made by Bethesda. The people who are really excited for Fallout 4 must understand that New Vegas is like way better than 3. New Vegas is good writing. And it has iron sights. Which is something what? that isn't in a Fallout 3. What? There's no iron sights? No iron sights. That's an actual thing. I know that's a small complaint, but <laughs> it's still like a huge deal because the gun just zooms in like like slightly to your left. It looks yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, they put iron sights back in. But, you know, I'm really hoping that like the the I think the one thing that could redeem this game for me is the, the city settlement. building. Yep. Right. They, they seem to hold a lot to that. Like that's all they've been showing that is seems like the, here's this, here's this, here's this, and it's yeah. like city building, eh? That's, or settlement building. Yeah, that seems like the one thing that's like the, gonna be like the only thing that they've worked on. Yeah, like that feels like the one thing where it's gonna be like yes. It's gonna be so limited. Oh, it's gonna be so limited. But at least I'm hoping that it's away from the, the linear cinematic, quote unquote, cinematic narrative that we're gonna have to deal with, where it's like I gotta find my wife. No, gotta find my they're kid. dead. No, they're probably alive. It says in the description of the game that I they're know, dead. I know, but they're probably alive. <laughs> probably. Otherwise, That's what's the he twist. gonna do? That's the M. Night Shyamalan twist. I'm sure. I mean, I don't even like... It's the wind! Why couldn't you just, like... Why did it have to be a wife and kids? Because, family man. I know, Everybody loves like, wife and kid. You could just have a goal that was like... I'm sorry, what? We're not playing soccer here. We're playing an <laughs> RPG. Uh, There's no goals but wife and kid. It's... Uh, it's so close. Like, it's so... Like, if it was maybe voice dialogue and a non-linear thing, or if it was, like... See, even the voiced thing. It's like, I can't talk with, like... I can't, like, imagine that my character has a dumb, evil voice or something. Wait, does... They do have dialogue for your character? For your character? Yeah. Your main... Your protagonist. Yeah. The, the character the, you play as, you, is, has dialogue for them. Uh, yeah, I always feel weird that. about that. No, yeah, that's terrible. I, I never liked it because it's like what if I because there's, usually what if, there's yeah, only like what if two I don't want to sound like that well that, that was the thing in again I want to go back to Dragon Age Inquisition there were two voice options one that was the good one and the other one that was bad oh yeah there's only one in this there's a girl and a boy that's a woman bad. and a man it's pretty bad yeah no I mean I think the voice acting was fine and Saints Row 2 that game came out in like 2007 it had th- Three different voice actors for each gender. No, but Todd Howard told us there's over ten thousand lines of dialogue. And they have and they have people's names in the game. And so they, when they address you by your name, it's like I don't care. It's lucky for you and me. I don't. You, I never, never put my real name in. I never either. I never put Robert. I always. Put, when it comes to like RPGs, like oh, yeah, a no. Skyrim or Fall, I would never put my real I name put, in there. I usually put no. I put and my character name in there. Yeah, that's generally what I go for, and they're not going to pronounce that. Like, no. what if I wanted to be stranger? What if that's what I wanted to be people to put Or what if you're me? making a joke out of the game and you, you name you name your guy Buttface? Yeah. You're gonna call you Max? Yeah. Hey Max, my character's name is Buttface, not Max. Yeah, I, or like I don't want people to call me like Robert. I want maybe General. Maybe yeah. any number of random names. Maybe I want you to call me Mork Mork. But, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, it's such a force. Or if you like, or if you're using if you're playing on the PC and you use a foreign keyboard and type in some weird different yeah, you, things you, and the you, game doesn't know how to pronounce your name. You put in like name. the German double S and yeah. it's like <laughs> Hi Beavis. Beavis. <laughs> and it'll just insert a generic name. Yeah. It's like I don't care if people call me by my name. It's yeah. never been a big deal ever. Yeah, it's never like been I've never had a problem with people calling me courier or stranger or yeah. any number of like Usually they find a way around it and it's cool that way. Yeah. Or like certain like I think in Kotor they have you can have your own name. Kotor oh, oh Knights of the Old Republic. Republic. And but when aliens speak they'll say your name. But they're speaking in a foreign language, yeah. so it'll just show up in the subtitle, which is fine. Yeah. But like, I've never had a problem with people never saying my name in an RPG. Yeah. It's never been a problem for like twenty years of RPGs. Yeah. 
but now suddenly they're like, oh, we're fixing the uh, problem. They played an old like NES RPG where your name pops up because it's text. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like we gotta put the name in the game. We gotta put the names back. I, I think, people love that. I think that's you a bad Secret feature. Of Mana. Yeah, I think that's a bad feature. Not even like something like to disagree on. Like it's like outright bad. Yeah. I, if anyone ever has a problem with someone calling you like courier. Or anything they called you. Well, in courier is a cool like. Courier is cool. It's yeah. a, it's a really cool like word and name. It's like that to be your nickname. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and all the people have to do is be like call you dumb nickname like family man. Yeah, oh, yeah, family man. Be like I'm looking for my wife and uh, and child. Be like that's ah, gonna be, family. That's man, gonna be huh? a dialogue option everywhere. It's like, can you help me find my wife and kid? It's so like, cause I would never want to say that. Neither would I. Move like, on. Like like if someone asked me what my goal is, I'd be like, I don't want to tell you. Yeah. Usually they'll be like none of your business it's like truth or lie instead yeah. of being like I'm just passing through or like something like that because that was like the thing about New Vegas was that your goal was whatever you wanted it to be and you could mm -hmm. you could just never talk to anyone and run straight up to Benny and kill him yeah I mean the, the narrative isn't so amazing that I'm like worried about people getting mad that I spoil it but like not that big of a deal I mean no yeah that's not even like the main thing no it's not <laughs> it's a but like part you, that leads into a bigger but that's the thing is that like you can skip every quest yeah. in Fallout New Vegas, and you don't even actually have to talk to Benny. Actually, mm -hmm. for one of the en for at least one of the endings, you yeah. can just go straight to do something else. But in this one, it's going to be like here A B C D. Yeah. And then your quest is complete, and here's a side quest that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I don't. Did know Fallout before. Three have the actual like? This is the point of no return. Here's the ending. They did originally. And then um, they took when they when they because originally the game ended yeah and ended like it, at New Vegas ends mm -hmm. where, you, where whatever whatever choices the end happens the end happens and, game it, over. and then you reload a save before you did that mission yeah that's how it is in Fallout Three and then they added a free DLC that changed that so that way you're brought back oh because at the end spoiler alert the game's like ten years old yeah. you die you sacrifice well, can't yourself you choose to someone else to go in for you um. No. Oh, you have to. You go can't. Ahead. Well, there's a ghoul. I'm pretty. I can't. I can't actually remember. It's been so. Long. I never beat it. Oh. I got pretty close, and I, was, I. I didn't get that close actually. I just got really tired of like. I don't have any choices in this choice environment. It's like I can say whatever I want, but I won't progress. Yeah. I can't find my dad on my own or anything like that. It's but a, uh like, there'll be. I think there's a ghoul that is a follower, and he, he will. You. He you. He could do it for you, but then he'll say something like, "No, this is your thing to do." Oh. It's like, but you won't die, and then yeah. it doesn't give you the dialogue choice to do something like that, as opposed to like New Vegas. If Obsidian wrote it, they'd be like, "Yeah, you kill your dad if you want." The game over. <laughs> like you can do anything you want. Yeah. What you you can do? It's it's almost like you're playing the game instead of you. Instead of Bethesda playing the game for you, yeah, and you get to make those choices, because it's like if I want to play a linear, like visual, like super impressive, super great writing, I play Metal Gear, Before Peace five. Walker to Peace Walker to one, or I could play Last of Us, yeah, or I could play Bioshock Infinite, or I could play any thousand games that are all moving towards linear, they have the, cinematic, they have the story, cinematic, because yeah. it has to be cinematic, like a movie. Because people like movies, not video games. They're for children. According to David Cage. <laughs> it's like, I don't want my video games to be... Like, actually, I think David Cage does a better job than Bethesda. In, in terms, terms of, of choice. At least it feels like you're making choice. At least, like, stuff it can feels happen. feels like you're making it. Like, if like, stuff can happen there's, in Heavy there's Rain. There's the thought of you changing something. Well, like, even in, like, Heavy Rain, like, characters can die. Yeah. If you work hard enough at it. Yeah. <laughs> and But in, like... In, in Bethesda, like, you have... The ending is the same for everyone. Probably is going to be, like, pretty much the same for everyone. Yeah. I mean, I'm making an assumption there, but it's just the way they're being like, yeah, this is a linear narrative. I think it's going to be... Well, then, uh, going back to the gameplay footage they show, they show you being in a Brotherhood of Steel suit of armor. Yeah. And it's like, how much will you have to go through to get a piece of armor that looks like that? Oh, yeah. So much. It but it looks... The crafting thing probably looks the best it's ever ever looked in my opinion have you did you see like i don't know if i remember seeing it it's okay like it's just like a, bring everything down to base resources and then like 
it makes cool. that most makes things more useful. Yeah. So I mean, like, it looks a lot more compelling than Three's did, which was less. I mean, New Vegas is, was okay. They had crafting in New Vegas. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, That's what like a whole I like repair skill was for. Oh yeah, I kind of. And survival that. skills for it too, and like one other skill I think was pretty dependent on it. Yeah. But like, I just felt like. I don't know. I feel like we'll see. We'll probably revisit this topic once we both play it. What? Ball Fallout. Ball Out Four. Ball Out Four. Ball, or shut up and jam. Ball Out Four. I won't buy that game. You're not gonna play Fallout Four? Buy no. Fallout Four? No. Really? Why would I? Because it's a pretty popular. It's pretty it's supposed to be pretty good. I hear. <laughs> I hear they. I hear uh, PC Gamer already gave it a ten out of ten review. They haven't played it yet. What? Yeah, Kotaku and uh, IGN haven't played it yet, but they gave it a solid nine point five. Did they even say they haven't played it? I'm making this up. Well, it sounds too real for me. <laughs> Especially <laughs> for those idiots. I haven't played it yet, but I've already given it a 10 out of 10. It's pretty much what their games are. Yeah. They're 10 out of 10. They're perfect games. Whoops. Perfect games should out. never be criticized. Never, yeah. Uh, I still like Skyrim, but, you know, just for its immersiveness. And if it runs well on PS3 once in a blue moon, yeah. or I get to play it on a 360, like... <laughs> There's no point in playing it on anything but a 360 or a PC. Yeah. I mean, they got to see if they put the footage up. They got to see how how wonderful how, it looks. How it looks pretty awful. It's pretty glitchy compared to the PC version. Yeah, and even the PC version get well, mods I, to fix everything. Yeah, I have tons of mods that I basically I have unofficial patches for yeah, unofficial. for all for everything the see, DLC the, all the DLCs the base game. That's everything. the thing that bothers me is that somebody was able to make an unofficial patch before make an unofficial patch and they never patched it. How oh, they never patched it themselves? Oh yeah, no, they just left the mods. They to just left the, yeah, and I I hated when they did the the pay for mods thing on on. On Steam. On Steam. Not because, you know, mods should be free or anything, but because the people who are making those mods got nothing out of it. Yeah. They got, it was like $200 to pay off, and then you get like 10% of profits. So it was like, here's your, you know, if there if the thing ever took off, it'd be like, okay, here's a, a $1, uh, like, weapons pack, right? Yeah. No, it were, if you were lucky, if it was a pack, it'd probably just be one sword. Yeah, but like in a perfect world for the people who made it, it'd be like... One dollar for this for these uh, three sorts. Yeah. Uh, or something like that, and then it's like uh, it's like okay, that means ten percent of that, which is like ten cents. So like, if you had to pay off two hundred dollars of that, that's like no, that's man. like two thousand sales or something like that. I'm not good at math, and they're still like getting all this money from it. Yeah. Like there's not it's not disguising it as anything but just evil corporationing. Yeah. It's just. It, it, it's like it's Bethesda like, is definitely one of the most overrated developers that's for sure yeah like uh, I hope I hope that Obsidian gets to use that engine and make Fallout the, new Fallout Reno new, Boston. new Reno no they're gonna be on the west coast that's what they have to do the New New Orleans oh that'd be pretty cool <laughs> I, I need the new 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 Orleans <laughs> <laughs> double New Orleans double New Orleans Double good Orleans. No, I think like anything Obsidian, or hopefully Obsidian In gets, the heart like, of the new Californian Republic. That'd be so, everything, like, whatever. They could do Fallout Canada. Fallout, like, Guatemala. Well, that doesn't work. Nothing's interesting in Canada. They could make it happen. <laughs> but Obsidian is good enough to make it happen. <laughs> like, they could make it, like, they could make it just pure desert. And they'll make it happen. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> well, they did that. They did that, yeah. <laughs> and it was the best. It was the most happy desert. And somehow the city, um, somehow New Vegas, was like, like, like way more compelling than Fallout Three. Like it felt like everywhere I go, like there was something there as mm -hmm. opposed to nothing. Like again, it was supposed to be nothing, but there was something still, there. There was at least something. Yeah. So, any other? Any other thoughts? thoughts on Bethesda? Yeah, any other thoughts on our general Bethesda discussion? No, no, not really. No? All right. All right, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening. On the RNN Talk. RNN Talk. <laughs>